Now that I have the birch bark that I want applied to the uh, skirting here, and the first few um, pieces of white birch twigs nailed on, now I want to go ahead and trim out the birch bark with just some small twigs. Once I trim that out, then we'll come through and these corner pieces here, we're going to just do some vertical sticks coming down and fill this area in. Once that's done, we might add a couple little details to really pull the piece together and then it'll be clear coat in the top, spraying a little clear on this base and the table will be done. Now that the majority of the stick work's done on the table, all these corners here, all these trim pieces, now it's time to go ahead and add some accents. I'm going to add some accent pieces in the center of the white birch, one on each side. We've got four sides to do. We're just going to fast forward through that process. Um, after we get those pieces done, we'll move on to get some clear coat on this top and wrapping this table up. As you can see, I've got my accent pieces added. Did some pine cones here. They're attached. And that's gonna be it for the detail work and the skirting work on this table. Now ready to move on and prep this top for some clear. This top's already been sanded quite a few times. Um, looks like it's just about ready to go now. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with my 5 inch sander here a little bit with some 180. Make sure I get all my scratches out. Might go ahead and hit it with some 220 after. See how it looks. Now I've got this maple top sanded down, got all my scratch marks out. I'll go ahead and start applying some gloss clear coat. I'll end up doing several coats of that. The majority of this first coat is just going to sink right into the wood. Um, a lot of it will just soak right in. Once it's dry though, we'll hit it quick, lightly with some sandpaper, maybe just a scuff pad, and we'll put another coat on. The second coat's gonna soak in, but it won't soak in as much. By the time we get to the third and fourth coat, it'll really start to build, and we'll have a nice high gloss finish. Um, the majority of that, we'll just fast forward through until we're done. But for now, we gotta let this dry, come back in a few minutes, put our second coat on. Earlier I applied two coats of clear. Um, the first coat was applied, it soaked in. I let it sit until it got pretty tacky. And then I applied a second coat. 
Um, with it being tack tacky, they don't need wet sanding in between. It'll just bond together. But now that those have dried, I gotta come back through and wet sand this. Wet sanding will prep the top for the next coat of clear because it won't bond the same now that it's dry. So we're gonna have to go ahead and wet sand this top, dry it off. I'm gonna wipe it down with a little bit of acetone after. Just a quick wipe, you don't want, you don't want to let it sit because it'll make it peel, but I'll give that a quick wipe and it'll be prepped ready for another coat of clear. And uh, hopefully that one will be it. If not, we'll wet sand it, clean it, put another coat on after that. Wet sanding should be all set. The only way to really check is I'm going to wipe it off and we'll make sure the whole thing is um, dull looking or sanded, roughed up. All right, the wet sanding should be all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off real quick. I want to make sure there's no real shiny spots left. If there are, that means I missed it. And I'll have to go back with the sandpaper and uh, wet sand a little more. I got a few spots on here I'll have to hit near the edges and this will be ready for another coat of clear. I hope you liked that last video. If so, shoot me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You can follow the link right here. I've got a few other videos up. Feel free to check those out. You can also follow my work on Facebook at Hall Stick Furniture and Signs. You can even find us on Instagram. Check those places out and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.